Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC3 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. Linux Newslog is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com. Check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe if you have not already done so. For those of you who have, thank you so much for staying subscribed and supporting the show. With that, let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode. Starting off over at Tech News World, the System D developer slams the free and open source software culture. The open source community is quite a sick place to be in, and I'm quoting him here. Red Hat engineer and System D developer Lenart Potering said Monday in a post on Google Plus, uh, the open source community is full of, you know, an expletive, and I probably more than most others are one of their most favorite targets. He goes on to give a pretty uh, graphic rundown of a fair number of the things that. Have, has happened and places a lot of the blame on a few very specific uh, open source communities, um, primarily, you know, leveling the bulk of the blame on Linus Torvalds and the way he interacts with other developers and such and so forth. You know, uh, he makes a point. None of it is new. Um, you know, I, myself personally, I do a fair amount of Linux development work uh for my day job and you know there are a variety of open source projects that i would love to contribute to uh you know in my spare or free time and um i just don't because i'm a busy dad and quite frankly i take one look at you know the community and the forums or you know however they communicate mailing list what have you and, you know, just kind of do a quick, do I even want to be involved in this? And frankly, I, I don't have the free time to deal with, you know, a, a fair amount of the bad stuff. It's like, it's almost as if being civil is like a bad word, you know. It's like, you know what, being uncivil and rude does not build good communities and this guy points it out best when he says a fish rots from the head bad stuff happens because the people in charge allow it to happen bad stuff all bad and good stuff always rolls downhill and so you know i <laughs> apparently somebody really got under this guy's skin you know you kind of have to have thick skin and i do have fairly thick skin to a degree i mean i do a you know a, an internet show on linux i regularly get emails from people who, you know, think I'm evil because I made one comment or another, uh, or, you know, I've sold out to some company or, or whatever. And it's like, no, it's just, I do this because I want to, you know, but the, the reality is, you know, people tend to be pretty rude and you do kind of have to have a thick skin. However, with that being said, like I said, he, this guy does make a point, you know, I mean, there is a fair amount of, really bad stuff like the personal stuff that's what turns me off you know i could be a great contributor to multiple projects but i choose not to simply because there's a lot of personal attacks going on it's like you know what i don't have enough free i do this because i want to and i enjoy it and being personally attacked is not enjoyable so i just simply will not engage those people uh you know, that do that, you know, behave that way, obviously want to do it on their own because I'm not helping them. So anyway, enough said, I, I thought I'd bring it up for those of you, you know, my email address, linux at quicksurf.com. You can uh, email me and tell me what you think. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it, he does point out that and not, you know, Linus has not responded. So we'll see, you know, in next week's show, if this started a major, uh, flame storm, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it is one of those things where it's like, dude, you need to be civil. You know, I know for a fact you're way more civil in real life, because if you're that uncivil to somebody's face, they'll probably get up and give you a butt kicking. Right. But 
you feel free to do it when you're when you're not in front of their face. I mean, come on, that's kind of a double standard there. So anyway, enough on that. From gizmoto.com.au, I thought this was really really cool. Uh, the it's in the computing section. Your kid could build this computer that fits together like Lego. That's right. Kano is a new kind of computer company. It's a startup. It's totally devoted to teaching a new generation about the craft of silicon. Its first product, a Raspberry Pi based system, so easy a child could build it, makes it easy to build a PC practically from scratch. The idea behind Kano is focused on educating youth about how computers work. With a new kit that's hitting the market now for just US $150, the company hopes to offer an opportunity to carry a novice to a basic understanding of both hardware and software in simple to comprehend levels. By gamifying the learning process, you can earn points for completing levels and can win badges for accomplishments. Kano makes it fun to create circuits and to code. It's one of the uh, co-founder's cousins, a seven-year-old, actually inspired the product by asking for a computer that was easy to put together as Lego. So, you know, there you go. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of Raspberry Pi-centric, you know. It's got Linux running on it and all that good stuff. Should be pretty neat. Definitely check it out. From idevnews.com, Azul Systems brings OpenJDK to Docker to boost Java performance across on-premises, cloud, and VMs. Azul Systems is shipping a version of its Zulu 100% open source binary distribution of the OpenJDK 8 platform that works with Docker container technology. Zulu on Docker enable, enables Java 6, 7, or 8 applications to be configured for easy deployment across the most common Linux server platforms. So pretty awesome. Uh, if you are a heavy user of Docker, then this is, and you need to do Java, this is definitely something to check out. From uh, gsmarena.com, Miezo MX4 with Ubuntu Touch makes an appearance. This is pretty neat. Images of Miezo MX4 running Ubuntu Touch made the rounds online. By default, the high-end Chinese smartphone runs Android-based Flim, Flim, Flame, Flim, I don't know how to pronounce it, OS. Uh, there is no official version on future availability of the Linux-based OS for the smartphone just yet, but rumor has it that the yet-to-be-revealed uh, MX4 Pro might offer Ubuntu Touch as an option, so pretty neat. Keep an eye out for that, uh, especially if you are uh, in China. From EnterpriseTech.com, Docker boosts container ecosystem with Coality deal. Uh, second story we have on Docker, the company behind the epitomous software container technology for Linux is fleshing out its application management platform with the acquisition of integration software developer Coality. San Francisco-based Docker did not disclose the price it paid for the company, but the Quality engineers, uh, continuous integration technology used to automate secure workloads could would hit the ground running as they are immediately folded into development of the Docker Hub Enterprise. So pretty awesome. Definitely check it out. If Again, if you are a Docker user. From Crowdfund Insider, Arizona-based startup seeks a $500,000 through Kickstarter campaign for a personal web server and storage device. Now, why are we talking about this? Well, Chandler, Arizona-based Eggsite, has launched a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter to help fund its new personal web server and storage device called the Egg. It's offering 64, 128, or 256 gigabytes of storage and Wi-Fi connectivity. It permits consumers to share their photos, videos, and other personal content online without using cloud services such as Facebook, Google, or Instagram. Um, and unlike cloud services, when consumers share personal content from the egg, they remain in complete control of where it resides and who views it. So, uh, the thing that's interesting about this is it uh, runs... What? It runs Linux. That's right. So definitely check this out. Pretty cool. That will do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show. 
and I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then.